Hey YouTube, it's Austin here from RM Fishing Like Norman. I'm going to do a how-to video on how to rig and fish uh, super flukes. Here I have a magnum super fluke, and then the normal 4-inch super flukes by Zoom. And this one is a Houdini Shad by Yum. Uh, they're all very good baits for spring, post-spawn, and summer. Um, you can cover water with them, you can fish schools. Pretty much anywhere that you can find spotted and largemouth bass, I really like them. You can even get stripers on them too. Um, so when it comes to rigging it, there's a few things you'll need. You'll need your uh, bait. You'll need a Gamagatsu extra wide gap um, hook. I prefer a 2 or 3 yacht for the 4 inch worms. And then one thing that you can do is put this little uh, clam weight on there. And I'll show you what that does in a second. So first I like to tie on my hook just to get everything set up and I prefer to do an improved clinch knot uh, I demonstrate how to do that in my um, Texas rig video but basically you wrap it around and then you take the lead of the line and put it through that hole then through the next hole and you draw it down and one thing that helps is even wetting the line a little bit just to make sure it stays and this is a very good knot to use. I use it for pretty much any bait. And you sink it down and you can cut off your leader. Alright, there we go. So now that you have that tied on there, what you want to do is kind of eye up where on the bait the shank of the hook will come out of the super fluke. Um, and then, basically, you take the head of the bait and you put it on the shank of the hook right there until it hits the bend and then you bring it around from the underside and just kind of have that follow the hook All right there and then now you line that up and you kind of push the bait up in with the hook and you hook it through the back that way it's nice and flat, your hook's not sticking out, it'll ensure a hook set every time and even a little bit of weedlessness. So now once you have that done, you take your clam weight if you have one, and you take your pliers, and what I like to do, I like to take it right about right there on the hook where it bends, right under the belly of the bait, and get the weight on there nice and good, then pinch it down with your pliers. It's a little bit difficult to do it first, but you'll get it. And then pinch it on there nice and tight so it won't move. You might have to adjust it after you get some fish on it or if you're bringing it through cover. But what that weight will allow it to do is it'll give you a little bit of extra weight for casting a little bit farther. And when the bait falls in the water on your paws, it'll shimmer down and that looks really attractive to nice bass. Um, I use this a lot in spring and summer, definitely catch a lot of fish on it. So when it comes to using the super fluke, you want to have probably 12 to 14 monofilament lined, uh, medium, maybe a medium light rod, uh, and definitely a spinning reel, um, maybe with a little bit bigger weight and with a better bait caster you might be able to throw it on that, but I find it's harder to throw light baits on bait casters, so I like to use spinning. So basically, once you cast it out there, you kind of just twitch your wrist a few times so it'll bring the bait and kind of make it look like it's swimming through the water maybe injured looking uh, then you let it sit and with this weight on there when it sits it'll fall and it'll kind of shake and shimmer in the water uh, and that's really attractive especially if the bait has glitter and sparkles in it that way it'll give off light and it'll reflect the sunlight and be very attractive to fish um, you basically twitch it and pull it all the way back to your boat or kayak or whatever you fish from um, and you can cast again and you can even put this on a double rig which I'll show you some other time where you can have two of these tied up and they go together kind of like two fish uh, running away from a group or just kind of lost on their own um, you can get double ups with that I've never gotten one of those but it's a very effective rig especially around schooling fish so I hope you guys can catch some fish on this and I'll see you later.